Good morning, guys. It's Saturday, the before um, New Year's Eve. Maybe it's New Year's Eve. I don't know. Anyway, I'm doing a side job today for a friend. Um, I figured I'd show you this old school bridge where the water just runs across the top of it. It's kind of cool. Anyway, they cut hay off of these fields. There's one here, one on the other side. There's these creeks run everywhere. And uh, the lady they're renting the, renting the pasture from or ground from said that she wants it cleaned up. So as you can see, he's done come through here with the bush hog and cut the trees off, which is not a good, that's not a good way. They'll grow right back. So I'm gonna go down through there and rip the stumps out and pull the trees out and just throw them out in the field. And then they're gonna take the skid steers and pile them up. But all we're gonna go through and do is tear out all the small stuff, leave the bigger ones like them cedar trees, that poplar tree over there. Just the small, real brushy stuff. And I'll probably get the stuff that's hanging out into the field a little bit. But I've got the 305 gonna do it. So I've gotta get this tilt bucket swapped off of it. <coughs> gotta get that swapped off and then get her unloaded. So I'll let y'all watch. works wonders on these binders that are locked up it's called pentro it's schaefer's pentro 90 this is better than any wd-40 or unloading this thing it's just so short and it's like I don't know it's like all the weights in one spot so it'll kind of try to pick the back of the truck up sometimes and
Alrighty, so I started, I've been working maybe 20 minutes and I've made it 150 feet probably. It's not too bad right there, but right in through here, all I really want to do is get these privets. I'll probably get this, this thing that was hanging way out in the field. So I broke it off and it looks bad. So I'll probably break it the rest of the way off. Um, but like get these privets and stuff like this. I, I'll leave that bigger, that bigger tree right there and get them privets and break limbs off. And then I'll go around to the other side and do the same thing. They said the owner of this land just wanted it cleaned up. So around the creek, cause so that's what we're doing. I'm just gonna put y'all on top and let y'all watch.
So I started over there on the other side of the creek, came down. As you can see, it's cleared through there where that pickup truck is. And then I'm starting down this side. I'm gonna just set you off on a time lapse. <clears throat> um, if anybody's watched, it's probably two, three months ago, I dug a little cattle pond with the T190. That's, that's it right there. It's uh, it's holding water, but he come down through here with a brush cutter on the skid steer, and he's cut a bunch of this small stuff, so it's pretty easy. I'm just basically pulling it up out of the creek and piling it up, and he's grabbing it with the thing's got a brush grapple bucket. He's just grabbing it, piling it up, and they're gonna burn it probably a month or two. But yeah, I'm gonna set you up on a time lapse right here. Just watch me work.